sometimes they are, and sometimes they're not. Welcome to this episode of Am I the Asshole? Our first one is from Significant Fan 8104 Am I the asshole for telling my parents I didn't have a kid, they did, and they need to take care of her, not me? My parents had me, 15 female, when they were 18 and 19. They always made it so obvious they resented being parents so young, and added to that, they never tried to be good parents. I typically spend most of my times at a friend's house. I don't have extended family to rely on. They disowned my parents for having me so young. So, friends' houses were a positive in my life that made me feel more comfortable than being at home with my parents. My parents never did the typical parent stuff like helping with homework or showing up to support me at school. I don't think they ever attended parents' conferences with me. They ignored a lot of stuff I needed to get signed and I'd have to get right in their face on the last day to get signatures. My birthday and Christmas have never been a big deal or celebration. They do celebrate their wedding anniversary, but that's a them thing. When they told me two years ago they were expecting a baby, it really surprised me. But then it hurt me, because sometimes they said stuff that made me feel like I didn't exist. Like how they were so excited to have a baby, and how they couldn't wait to be parents. A friend of my mom's did remind her of me, but then she and my dad said I was basically the too early practice run and this was the real deal. When my sister was born, they were so attentive to her that I ceased to exist completely. I got sick and my school was trying to call someone to pick me up early, but they ignored the calls. And when I got home, they had taken the baby out for a family day. When they got home, they hadn't even realized the school called because they turned off their phones to enjoy family time. My mom quit her job a month after my sister was born. She wants to be a stay-at-home mom and she and dad want at least one more kid. My dad leaves work early on Fridays so he can spend more time with the family, mom and sister. My parents tried to have another kid for over a year and mom isn't pregnant yet, so they're jumping to fertility treatments. They told me I need to watch my sister for a few hours every week while they attend those appointments and they gave me this detailed list of stuff she needs and what I'm going to do with her. I told them that I won't and that they had her so they need to take care of her because she's not my kid. My parents told me it's a few hours a week and not a huge deal. Dad told me I need to look at it as paying back all they did for me. I said no and told them they don't give a crap about me, so why would I want to help them? Am I the asshole? First off, no, you're definitely not the asshole. Both of your parents are big, fat assholes. Now, the bottom line is, is your parents are trying to argue it's only a few hours a week and it's not a huge deal. They could have done that for you. They could have actually been parents. They chose not to. Just because they want free babysitter treatment now, well, tough fucking shit in my opinion. This next one is by BusinessBat4962. Would I be the asshole if I withdrew my daughter from sports against my wife's wishes? My daughter, 15 female, is a competitive gymnast. Her team travels all over the country to compete. She is a sophomore in high school and wants to stop competing because her body hurts. She's at the gym 14 hours a week. She lacks the drive and passion for the sport and she wants to do more high school things and concentrate on her studies. She is an honor roll student and takes AP classes in sophomore year. My wife, 43 female, is against it because my daughter's reason just started and she made a commitment to the team and she should see it through. We also spent $1,800 this summer on camps and sessions to help her get better. She thinks my daughter will become lazy and want to hang out with friends and her chores and schoolwork will suffer. I, 43 male, understand my wife's points about the commitment to the team and the money. I also understand my daughter's points about being sore as I used to be a weightlifter and wanting to be more active in high school. I am trying to find middle ground, but I don't think it exists. My gut is to protect my daughter and withdraw her, but I know it'll put me in the doghouse big time. I feel stuck between a rock and a hard place. 
I feel like the only middle ground in this would be to have her see this season through and then allow her to stop after that. That way she learns that if she commits to something, she needs to follow through. But at the same time, if her reason for being in pain and her body hurting is genuine, I don't see you as being the asshole if you choose to withdraw her. This is just one of those kind of situations where it just doesn't seem like there is a winning choice. And our final one is from Prudent Seesaw 1732. Am I the asshole for telling my mom's family I don't owe her because she had gender disappointment? My mom never wanted a boy. She wanted girls. Apparently, her dream was four daughters, but she had me, 16 male first. I have seen photos and videos of the day I was born. She cried hysterically when they told her I was a boy. Then she refused to hold me. After we were cleaned up, she cried about not using the name she had chosen and said she didn't know how to move on from it. All this was caught on camera. Eventually, my paternal grandmother took me and she was the person to hold me in photos and videos taken during the rest of our hospital stay. My paternal grandma was my sole parent figure for the first eight years of my life. She took care of me and I spent so much time at her house. Sometimes I was there for weeks. Then she had a brain bleed and died. So I was left with a mom who wanted girls and not a boy, and a dad who wanted to be a provider and nothing more. My mom had my sister, Lily, two years after me. So mom got her girl and Lily got all her attention. Well, I got grandma until I was eight and then nobody. My mom and Lily are super close and mom adores Lily. Lily got the bigger bedroom. She gets the gifts, she gets all her favorite snacks, she gets to do all the extracurricular activities she could ever want, and her birthdays are huge parties with huge gifts. Christmas, she gets at minimum 25 gifts from mom alone. Mom typically gets me one. Never anything I'd like or want, but you know, the thought that counts, which is zero. My mom's family doesn't act too interested in making up for my lack of parental love. And in the last couple of years, mom and I have argued more and I give her a hard time. Dad's never around to give him one. But mom, if she wants to ignore me, then she can hear how shitty it is. And if she wants to treat my sister like a perfect angel, then she can hear about it. Mom has mentioned how I ruined her dream of four daughters. We were at mom's parents' house Friday and mom gushed about Lily doing good on a project and the scooter she got Lily to help her get around easier. She got Lily a custom helmet and a personalized lock for her scooter. She couldn't stop talking about it and I told her she really does love to shower her in her favorite gifts and praise. My mom's family told me I should take it easier on her and said I should understand we had some little troubles because of mom's gender disappointment. I told them I don't owe her shit because she had gender disappointment and that I didn't ask to be born to a mom who only wanted daughters. They told me I lacked adult understanding and compassion. Am I the asshole? The only people I question who lack adult understanding and compassion are all of the fucking supposed adults in this story that are, are just seemingly rejectful besides the paternal grandmother who sadly passed away. It seemed like she had the only fucking sense to be an adult and act like one, let alone a parental style figure. Definitely not the asshole. All of these other adults besides that paternal grandmother are big bleeding assholes. All right. That's enough stories for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Am I the Asshole? If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons and super thanks contributors. Have a great day and stay safe out there.